Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another weekly vlog or welcome if you're new. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you to all of you that are just here to hang out. We are going to start this vlog right away, get right into it because I'm at Trader Joe's and I want to go pick up some groceries for Hunter and I. So I'm going to head inside and then I will give you all a little haul. <music> And it's actually also Hunter and I's four year anniversary, which is crazy. I've only been in one other long-term relationship and that relationship felt like a push to get to each anniversary. So being in a relationship where it doesn't feel like that, where it's just so easy and effortless is such a blessing. And yeah, I'm really, really excited and happy about it. But I actually got him some gifts that I wanted to show you all before I get started with my day. He's currently at work, so he's not gonna know about any of this. This is just our little secret for right now until later tonight. I got him two things off of Etsy now. There is some backstory to this. Not only is it our anniversary, but Hunter also just got a new job. Not too long ago, he was working full-time at a company he was very happy with, in a position he was very happy with, and then they brought someone new onto the team into a leadership role, and that person just kind of turned things a little sour for him. It became kind of a toxic work environment in my opinion. That person handled things very unprofessionally across the board and I'm just really glad he got out of there because in my opinion if it were me in that position based on some of the things he was telling me I would have been so emotionally mentally stressed. I'm just I'm very proud of him for getting through that and finding a new opportunity. It was kind of funny because when he was telling our families, our friends, that he was considering quitting, everybody was like, no, what happened? You can't just quit. And then he would tell the full story and people would be like, oh yeah, you need to get out of there. So it was a mutual consensus. You know, it wasn't just him. It was, it was the actions of this individual that really caused him to want to just leave and not even have to deal with it. And he found a new role just weeks after. So obviously it wasn't an issue. So yeah, I just gave you all the deets. But anyways, I got him two crew necks off of Etsy. Like I said, this one I got to represent the position he'll be in at this new company. He's going to be an accountant. And then this one was brand new, newly printed, but the other one I got for him was actually thrifted. And I've never actually thrifted anything off of Etsy before, but this turned out so nice. As you can see, he'll be working for Pepsi. So I thought I would get him this. And it's kind of nice because it's like a button up situation so he can wear it to work and it'll still look kind of business professional, casual. But the embroidery on here is in very good condition. The sweatshirt itself is in very good condition. No stains, no rips, no threads coming loose or anything like that. So I'm very, very happy with this purchase and so excited for both of those. I hope he likes them. I think he will. We agreed we wouldn't get each other anything for our anniversary, but I feel like this is an exception. This is an exciting thing. So I did find a bunch of stuff for myself as well. And this is actually all thrifted. I took a chance. I took a chance, but I saw some things I really loved that were literally one of a kind from what I could tell. So the item that actually started this whole purchase was this really like cheesy, kind of ugly Christmas sweater, but I just, something about it is so cute to me. This will just be super cute for Christmas time. I've been looking for something like this that's a crew neck that I can just wear and be kind of funky with. Something that has all of the Christmas elements, besides Jesus, of course. Then that same exact shop had this up on their storefront. This is the cutest piece of like Christian clothing I think I've ever seen. I just love the colors, I love the meaning. And then that shop was actually based out of Malaysia. So their shipping price was hefty and I noticed they had a little like coupon or deal where if you buy three items you get free shipping so I was like I saw this listed for pretty cheap on their storefront and I love friends Hunter and I have been re-watching it well I've been re-watching it he's watching it for the first time which is funny because initially when I said we should watch it he dissed it and he was like it's not that funny I'm like have you seen it and he's like yeah I've seen like bits and pieces and now we are deep into like season six or seven I think maybe eight I don't know, we are deep into the series and he loves it, loves it. So I was like, I think this is cute. It was actually less than the price of shipping. So I figured that was justified. Oh, you've literally been getting a preview of this the whole time I've been showing you those. But I saw another thrift store on Etsy and they had this, it says WWJD, Walk With Jesus Daily. And I just, I don't know, I just love that. And this, 
crew neck has kind of a retro vibe to it, which I really like. Also on Etsy, I got a new little tote bag. This one says, my joy comes from the Lord. And I got this because I've been really using this other tote bag I have, but it's not as cute. It's very loud, like it's bright orange and I just, it doesn't match my aesthetic. <laughs> That sounds really stupid saying it aloud. I just thought this one was super cute and simple and it's beige, so it'll match whatever. So that's everything I got off of Etsy. By the way, all of those are washed. I would not be like holding them up to myself very close to my face if they weren't washed already. Just to clear that up. But I did actually recently place an order off of Shein because I have a wedding coming up in September, like late September that I'm going to be attending. The wedding is for one of Hunter's family members and I'm not going to be standing up in the wedding, but since I am technically kind of family, I need to be matching for the most part with their theme. And I saw this dress on Shein and I was like, this is perfect. Here she is. If you can kind of see, it's hard to tell, but it's long sleeve and it's got this nice little detailing here and it's like mid to long. Like it's not a long dress, but it's definitely kind of mid length. Hopefully this little neckline and kind of style here isn't too revealing. That's my only concern. It looks really cute on the model. Okay. And I think it'll look really cute on me as well. So we will see. And lastly, lately on Shein, they've been doing these little flash sales all the time. And I happen to see a few things. This one is just a basic strappy black maxi dress. So it's nice and long and it's just really basic and simple. I think this was on sale for like five bucks, but I had a bunch of points saved up and little like rewards from their mini games. So I used those and this came out to be like a dollar. And then there was another one in this beautiful brown shade. Wow. Oh, and this feels nice. That other one was ribbed and kind of more like cottony. This one is very soft and kind of skims like. Here is what this one looks like. This one looks like it's gonna be potentially a little bit big on me, but that's okay. We don't need everything to be tight fitting. All right, that's my haul. I just wanted to share all that with you because I'm excited about it and I figure why not? I think there's so many cute pieces in there. Hi, can I please have a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew and then a chocolate croissant and that'll be it. That'll be 918. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I just did a little Starbies run without Hunter. It is Friday and usually Friday is our day where we're both home working remotely. So we both go to Starbucks in the morning before we start our work days. Just as a little end of week celebration, a little kind of routine we developed together but now since he is at his new role he has to be in the office full time for the next few weeks so we probably won't have one of those little Starbucks runs in a while unfortunately but our anniversary was really really nice we went out to dinner as you saw and Hunter loved the gifts I got him off of Etsy so that was great and yeah it was just really great I love celebrating those big milestones with him we're at that point now where we've been dating long enough where people start to ask us when we're getting married when we're gonna get engaged which is always, you know, a nice surprise when people do ask. And honestly, we're not really in a hurry. I feel like we met at a really, really good time in our lives when we were both kind of going into college. So we had some time to get to know each other. Whereas when you're a little bit older and you meet someone, usually you get married a little bit sooner in the relationship. And I think part of the reason we're so like comfortable and content right now is because we both kind of know that like this is it. And I feel like we don't see ourselves being with other people at this point. So right now we're just kind of focusing on what's in front of us and when the time feels right the time will be right yeah i feel so happy to be with that person like i have never ever been in a relationship like this before which is good like obviously i would hope that would be the case if i'm planning to marry this person but i feel like people say like you'll know when you found the right person and i feel like that is so true because it's not even about being comfortable like i am very comfortable obviously with hunter but i feel like beyond that 
it never gets old. Being with him never gets old. I always have something new to share with him. He's the person I want to go to for everything. We have very similar goals and mindsets and we just, we work together so well and we've both kind of adapted to one another's personalities. So we are just at the highest level of compatibility, truly. Like once you are with someone and you are both meant to be together, I feel like your compatibility will be very obvious. Anyways, I have this coffee and I also got a chocolate croissant all warmed up. So I'm gonna go head up to my apartment and enjoy this and get back to work. Hi, could I just do a large nutty pumpkin iced coffee? Thank you. Thank you. So I got a notification on my Dunkin' app this morning that they just released their new fall flavors. So I thought over my lunch today, since it is a weekday, I could just run a Dunkin', pick up a little fall drink to sample, and just chat with you guys for a little bit. We're gonna do a first sip on camera. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I ordered a large Nutty Pumpkin iced coffee. It's basically just an iced coffee with pumpkin spice and hazelnut and cream. It does automatically come with cream, which is fine for me because that's how I would probably order it normally. But for those of you that don't like cream, make a note of that. But like I said, I ordered a large. They gave me a medium, but charged me for a large. So I had to go through again, make sure I got my money's worth because I can be stingy when I want to be. Typically, nowadays, I don't give a heck what people think of me. I will be as stingy as I want to be, but this is really good, like even better than I was expecting. But I chose the Nutty Pumpkin over the Pumpkin Spice because the Pumpkin Spice just felt a little too soon given that it's mid-August. This was a little more subtle, you know, ease into it a little more. And now I'll have one for tomorrow if I want to. I really wanted to get like a bakery item as well because I've heard that their pumpkin muffins are really good. Last year when they came out with them or whenever they came out with them, they sold out really, really fast. So I wanted to try one, but that doesn't really go well with my goals right now. I'm really trying to be very intentional about what I'm eating and what I'm doing when it comes to my health. I've seen a little bit of progress so far, so that is very rewarding and very helpful to give me some momentum to continue doing what I'm doing. That video on all of the habits that I've been changing in my life is coming soon. I'm really excited for it. I think it'll be really fun and insightful. But yeah, I've been really starting to have a huge mindset shift. Thank you, Jesus, because I fully accredited to him. I really, really do because this is the one time that when I've wanted to make a health change, I've involved him and asked for his help and his guidance to guide my path. I really, really feel like it's him working to shift my mindset and really change me and transform me internally before I see external change, which I'm very grateful for. But I've just had this huge shift in my mindset where I don't feel like I need to be eating as often as I used to be eating. Like my body just doesn't need the extra food. Our bodies aren't necessarily meant to be fed as often as we feed them and in the portion sizes we feed them. And I've been really starting to see food for its like macros and it's how it can benefit my body and how it's going to make me feel and how much energy it's going to give me and not necessarily for how it tastes. But I'll talk more about that later. I've been seeing a lot of really good looking recipes on Instagram and on all my socials. I'm thinking I might have to make more of them. I literally just went grocery shopping, but I think I'm going to have to go again to pick up some ingredients for some new recipes I just saw today that just look so bomb. And the macros are really good and they're low calorie, high protein, which is kind of my goal right now. The thing with me is I go through bursts of motivation when it comes to like cooking and trying new recipes. I don't know what it is, but right now I'm in a cooking phase. Like I want to try all the recipes. I want to play around. I don't mind if it takes extra time, extra money, extra effort. And that's where I'm at right now. But in maybe a few months, I will be done for a little bit. I'll be eating my go-to recipes that we've been sticking with. It is what it is. At least I have a phase where I actually want to try new recipes and new foods and things. I used to be really, really big into cooking. I used to want to be a chef. Actually, I think I went through a phase where I wanted to be a baker 
and have a cupcake shop with my best friend at the time. And then I also wanted to be a chef at one point as well. There was one day I went over to a friend's house and she was like, do you watch the cooking channel? And I was like, no, you know, I was a kid. I, I did not do that kind of stuff. She was like, oh my gosh, it's so fun to just see what they make and to, it just looks so good afterwards that you just want to eat it. And I'm like, okay, we started watching it. I was obsessed obsessed i was like i want to do this because when you're a kid you're like a sponge and you just what you see is what you want to do a lot of times when i was really really little i had so many stuffed animals i watched all these shows about animals i wanted to be a vet you know same type of thing what you absorb is kind of what you strive to become which is why i'm so scared to have kids right now <laughs> but that's a ways away i know that god will guide me and god will help me to teach them what is right and what their will is in this world that's a whole nother tangent that's a whole nother tangent you know speaking of kids actually the next step for hunter and i that we've been discussing is actually getting a dog we've been wanting a dog so bad now for the longest time we haven't even lived in this apartment on our own for a year and we're already like when are we getting a dog why don't we already have a dog but we have had doggy fever puppy fever for the last few months for sure this apartment that we are currently at only allows dogs on one floor and I think there are breed restrictions. I believe there are also weight restrictions so you can only have like small dogs and Hunter and I want a big dog. He is a big dog person through and through. I don't have too much of a preference as long as they're you know my kind of my kind of vibe but he insists on having a large breed which I am totally okay with because I honestly would probably prefer a larger breed if I were to pick as well. Initially Hunter was very set on getting a Doberman because when he was growing up he had a family dog that was like a black lab Doberman mix. I think he just wanted to have that again so he loved that breed and as I was on social media more and more I started to see Roddy's Rottweilers a lot and I was like that is my that's my pick. If you want to get a Doberman let's get a Rottweiler to pair. So then we were up to two dogs, you know, like I was on board with the Doberman, but then I fell in love with the Rot and I wanted a Rot. And so that was like our tentative plan was a Doberman and a Rottweiler. Keep in mind, we have never had our own dogs before outside of family dogs, which was not really carrying a large burden. You know, we weren't the people necessarily doing all of the training. So we have actually renewed our lease for this apartment. So we are here another year. So obviously we're not going to be getting a dog in the next year, which is sad. We'll have to wait a little bit. But after that year is up, I think we're going to try to find a new place, probably another apartment complex because we just don't have the, the savings, or at least I definitely don't have the savings yet to to buy a house with him. Throughout high school, I worked a few jobs, mostly at Starbucks, and I saved up a good amount of savings. Those kind of just sat for a little while. And then I blew it all on rent in college, pretty much when Hunter and I were living in a college apartment together. So basically my bank account was down to maybe a few hundred dollars once I graduated college. So I was really building up from nothing since starting my job. And I've only been at my job for almost a year now. I think it'll be a year starting next month, which is crazy. So, you know, I, I need a little time to, to save up for like a down payment and to actually be able to realistically afford that type of big investment. Anyways, though, we want to find a new apartment complex that allows larger breeds. And we'd ideally like to be on the lowest floor if possible, because I don't want to have to take my dog outside down some flights of stairs to have them go to the bathroom because they go to the bathroom multiple times a day. I want to just be able to let them out my back door. As we were looking for apartments, we noticed that like literally none of them pretty much allowed the breeds we were looking at, Doberman, Rottweiler, because they are working breeds. They are statistically labeled as more aggressive, likely because they are a lot harder to train. It takes a lot more dedication to train them because they are such intelligent dogs with so much depth to them. So that was the first thing that we noticed was that if we want to be in another apartment, chances are we're not going to be able to get the breeds that we had in mind. After that, I started to really think about it a little more and start to see more things on social media about how they are such a huge commitment to train. It's like a full-time job, people would say, to train those particular breeds because they're working breeds. So that kind of, you know, made me think a little bit about, is this really the right dog for us to get, the right breed for us to get right out of the gate, not being dog owners before together, because that team dynamic is definitely a factor as well. Do we really want to get one of the harder breeds to train the ones that are going to take a lot more commitment the ones that can literally outsmart you if they want to so now i'm not sure we're leaning towards maybe labs because labs are just i mean they obviously take training too because they are smart as well 
but for a first dog, I think that would be a better move for us. And do not get me wrong, if Hunter and I were serious about adopting a Doberman or a Rottweiler, I would be read up on it. I would be reading books upon books so I knew exactly what I was getting into, so I knew exactly how to handle a breed like that. The same goes for a lab. I will be reading up on their distinct personalities and breed traits and everything, you know, that I, I need to cater myself and my behavior and my training style to the breed, in my opinion, and to the dog, because every dog is different as well. But yeah, I just wanted to disclose that because I, I would not blindly go into dog ownership without knowing the breed and knowing everything there is to know. I just finished the fine print by the way which is the book I was reading out of that Dreamland Billionaires series. I'm having mixed thoughts about it because I wasn't really a fan. I, I was kind of like this is just I'm I'm kind of just cruising through it. It wasn't bad by any means like I was able to get through it. There wasn't anything super special about it to me and I could be biased because I am not a big romance book person. I just feel like sometimes it can be cute. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it can be very cute and it just makes me smile. But many of the romance books I've had experience with, Colleen Hoover especially, there's a lot of intimate scenes and I just can't get into it. I don't know. I, to me, it feels too personal. To me, it feels kind of like wrong and convicting for me in my Christian faith. That's just me. Like you can call me extra, but that's just what my spirit kind of tells me it kind of fills me with this kind of negative energy not really my thing even though I, I love a good like psychological thriller and you might be like well that's kind of dark sometimes does that not feel convicting to you and it really hasn't as far as books go in that particular genre it just feels like not very entertaining to me I think is the big thing it's not entertaining it doesn't keep me on the edge of my seat it doesn't change my life by any means it's just very predictable and I feel like they all kind of mesh together at the end of the day sometimes. I'm not hating on romance because I love romance. I love the romance I have with Hunter. I just, I can't, I don't know. The books I don't get into. The books I don't get into. Rom-coms are cute. The books I don't get into. And I feel like sometimes when I read those books, I can tend to compare my relationship with the relationships in those books. And that's something I know is not right. But like sometimes I just subconsciously do it. And then I catch myself and I'm like, you can't you can't it's literally a written man a, a man character written by a female and who knows what females like more than a female you know what I mean everybody expresses their love in different ways and has different ways of showing their feelings and just because there's a man character a fake person in a book acting a certain way doing a certain thing doesn't mean that my partner needs to do that as well you know what I mean it's almost like how people say that pornography sorry to bring up a very like taboo topic but people say that that can really taint people's expectations it's the same type of thing for me with romance books sometimes I just it feels like that same feeling but let me continue let me stop sharing my unwanted opinions <laughs> I I thought the book was just very average and kind of coasting there's a little bit of you know some some tension a lot of spice a lot of spice for me. So if you're no spice girly, then this is not for you. But basically, it just felt very predictable and average. And then towards the end, things started to get really interesting. And I started to, it started to grab me a little more. But will I read the second and third book? I don't know. And I feel like that's not good. I feel like if you love a book, you should be like, I need to, I need to get the second. It's definitely not going to be on my TBR list, like high on my TBR list. But maybe it'll be towards the bottom if I just run out of ideas, if I feel like if I feel like it, but for now I need a break. So my next book I'm reading is going to be The Silent Patient, which is the other one I picked up the same day I picked up the fine print. I didn't really give you a very good, well-rounded review of that book, <laughs> I'm realizing. Like normally good book reviewers will tie it up with a nice bow on top, but I kind of just ranted a little bit. Overall, I think I'm going to give it a, a 6 out of 10. I forget, people do like books out of five stars and I just gave it a seven out of ten so out of five it would probably be I mean I would give it a three but I feel like three is too good I don't know two or three two and a half maybe two and a half like I don't know I don't know it just it wasn't it wasn't my fave I've been very talkative today which we love that because sometimes I'm just not in a talkative mood I feel like I don't have anything to share and I was kind of feeling that way this morning but as soon as as soon as I got in the car I was ebbing and flowing. I'm gonna head back up to work. It was nice chatting for a little bit.
hello. I just got done with a little work day in the office and wow. I, it was, it was a day. It was good in a sense that I got a lot done and I felt very productive and very happy with the work that I was putting forth. But I learned some news today that kind of blew my mind a little bit. One of my colleagues, she's kind of like a second boss to me. She's not my direct report officially, but she kind of oversees some of the other stuff that I do unofficially, if that makes sense. She had emailed me yesterday and said, hey, do you have time to talk tomorrow? I have some news. And I was like, what? could the news be so I go to her office today and I walk in and I was like hey and she's like hey and she was like I'm leaving and I was like oh that's fine like we can talk later and she was like no I'm I'm leaving for another job and I was like I was so shook I was so shook because she literally said flat out outright straight to the point I'm leaving and I just didn't even think that it could mean that she's pursuing another position I just was so <laughs> caught off guard because I hadn't heard anything about it but obviously that's why she wanted to talk to me in person because it was a big thing that she thought I should know it sounds like she just kind of wanted to change because she's been in the same role a few years now and she just wanted to move into something a little different and somewhere she could contribute more because she feels like she's kind of given all that she can give to our organization so it's hard because I'm very happy for her I'm very excited it sounds like a really cool opportunity but I am going to miss her a lot because she has trained me so well she's been such a nice work friend honestly we chat all the time and she's just super fun to talk to and hang out with but i'm sure we'll stay connected it'll be fun to learn about how she's doing at her new opportunity and yeah she's really really great i'm sure she's going to contribute a lot to that organization and i'm going to really miss her and all the things that she does for our organization but i'm just grateful to have had a year with her she's only going to be around the next two weeks so that doesn't give us a lot of time. It's very bittersweet and honestly it would be a little scary for me if I didn't have so much faith in my God. He's got a plan cooking. You know everything is happening for a reason right now. It seems a little scary right now because I won't have her guidance and her expertise but in not having her around anymore in a little bit I will be able to really think for myself and really you know become more of a leader in my area because I think even though I've come into this role still even after a year people are going to her for things that they could be coming to me for whereas now it's going to be a lot more on me which is great for my growth i am the type of person that just will soak up every single opportunity that i can be given because i know i can use it to grow and develop in my career path and become a better asset in my field so with this big change there's going to be a little bit of challenge but there's also going to be a lot of growth there's also going to be a lot of probably exciting things in store for me it feels sad right now and I'm sure it will feel that way for a while but I think I'm going to end up being really happy in a lot of other ways so that was today's big thing I really don't have anything else to share I just have to say I'm so happy with my current role I am so happy with my job like God really did that for me he really worked this out and I'm so grateful because it really is that I wouldn't change a thing I just I have so much variety I get to contribute in so many ways and it's funny because in college I never ever realized that that was what I was meant to do I always thought I wanted to go to law school and be an attorney and now I am in a very creative role and I do not regret deciding not to go to law school at all one bit I am so happy I went with my creative side and did this instead because I really believe that this is what I was meant to do and I really believe that God called me to this work and I really believe that he set me up for success and for happiness and contentment. On that note, I am going to head up to my apartment now and just hang out for a little bit until Hunter gets home. Before I do though, I am going to close out this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching, okay? Thank you so much. I am so grateful for those of you that just want to hang out with me and chat with me and catch up and learn more about me. So thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful and I just, I love you. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be friends because I love chatting with you in the comments. I just love learning so much about each of you and seeing familiar usernames and faces. I hope you've been doing amazing and I will see you very soon in the next one.